Hey everybody, the Bible says we should be fools for Christ. How do you think I'm doing? And what do you think of this stole? Isn't this a funny stole? Somebody gave this to me after I graduated from seminary, the school where I was taught how to be a pastor, and it's like my kitchen stole. So this is one of the few times when I'm wearing it. But I wanted to tell you a story today about the last laugh, and it involves Abraham, Sarah, and God. The visitors. One hot day, Abraham was resting near his tent. He heard footsteps. Three men were standing nearby. Abraham went out to greet them. Would you like to rest in the shade? We have plenty of cool water to drink. Can I get you something to eat? Abraham asked. Abraham told Sarah about the visitors. He asked her to make a tasty meal. While they were eating, the three visitors shared some exciting news. They said, your wife is going to have a son. Sarah heard what they said. She laughed thinking, I am too old. God asked Abraham, why did Sarah laugh? Anything is possible with the Lord. But what this story doesn't tell us is that Abraham had heard earlier that he and Sarah would be parents and Abraham had also laughed. Abraham told God, you know, I'm an old man. I'm just skin and bones. I have one foot in the grave. And Sarah, she's 90 years old. She's not only too old to be a mother, she's nearly too old to be a grandmother. She could be a great grandmother or even a great, great grandmother. And so Abraham also laughed when he heard that Sarah was going to have a baby. They both laughed, but sure enough, the next year, Sarah had a baby boy. They named him Isaac, and that name Isaac means laughter. Sarah and Abraham laughed when God told them they would have a child because they thought they were too old. But when they did have their son, Isaac, they laughed again and named him laughter. But of course, it was God who had the last laugh.